Welcome to Grace Garden, where I love to be. But I also love to travel and explore the big, beautiful garden that we all share. I'm your host, Carol Kanicki, and I'm so glad you've come along. So thankful to enjoy the beauty in nature and to get to work with the things that I love and to get to share all that with you. Join me for some awesome adventures in nature and at some other exciting destinations. I hope to inspire you and to document my memories. Thank you for coming along with me out into our Grace Garden. My kids arrived last night and uh, they came late, it was dark and we were all hungry and we sort of cheated and got pizza and um, had a nice night sitting in front of the fire but it was not noteworthy. This morning I have breakfast laid out. Abby and David are here with me um, and Jake and Jen are in a hotel room at the Bath Avenue house actually in Ocean Grove which is 17 minutes away from this campground which is this campground's only redeeming quality really I have to say I'm not really happy with this campground um, there's only a handful of people here it's and it's Saturday it it's there's no toilet paper in the bathrooms um, there's no electricity on any site which they don't really advertise it um, it's it's sort of I don't know but this they're at the bathrooms actually right now um, Abby and David and uh, he, he sent me a picture in a text I don't know if I'll be able to insert the picture here but they're at the bathroom with my coffee maker um, it might rain so we in the darkness when they arrived makeshift put up this put up this um tarpaulin to cover the wood and stuff that we have and back there that's the there's a lake back there that there you can almost see it through the trees right there there's a body of water and I walked there yesterday I showed you and um you know it's a big nice level site but it was pretty expensive and there's no amenities here the bathrooms are not nice um But it's location, 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 right? It's right between Six Flags and um, Ocean Grove. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that rant. I just got a text from Jake and um, they're planning a fun day for us today, even though it's gonna be a little bit of a iffy weather day, we're, we still have some cool things to do. And Jake, um, David and Abby will be back any second with coffee. <laughs> and here comes the coffee. Woohoo! <laughs> Breakfast is served. Well, I, I cheated. I started on the night. How are the eggs? They're really good. Are these the chicken eggs? Yes, they're the boogers eggs. They're in the back. What's this? What is that? Some kind of medallion. What does it say? Uh, Florida, the Sunshine State, and then it's got like um, seahorses and stuff. Really? On. Oh, I love it. Can I have it? Yeah, okay. It's on your. Well, you know I... what? That's our next trip. My next trip is going to Florida. Probably Maybe... right around where the palm tree is. Yep, that's where I'm going. So stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. That's Abby and David in front of me. They packed up their tent and everything, and they're bailing on me. They got a room in Ocean Grove for tonight, right but Drive. I really can't blame them. There will be no swimming today, people. Look at those waves. I don't know if you can hear me because the wind is whipping. But it looks very scary out there on the Jersey Shore right now. Not a good beach. 
each day. I parked sort of in the middle of the beach near to Bath Avenue and my kids parked down here by Asbury. Jake got a kite and said to find him by following the kite and I did see it for a second in the air but it I don't think I introduced Abby and Jen yet in this episode. Hey you two! Hey you two, give me a cameo! Alright. Well, this is Abby and Jen. helping Jen find a geocache. <laughs> well, Porta is a bust because they have no more reservations left for today at all. Jen was able to snag us reservations for tomorrow night, so that's when we're gonna do Porta's tomorrow evening for dinner. Tonight, we're actually sitting on the porch of the Bath Avenue house, making ourselves impromptu hoagies um, for a delicious lunch al fresco. There is a life valley in this city. Hurry in the cup of tea. That's the next bit of that. Doesn't it go on for like five minutes? It does. It's so good. Easy. The other piece of my heart is so good. Say it more. Put feeling into it. Jen was right. I admit, Jen. Jen was right. Let's go shopping. And our first stop has absolutely got to be the mermaid haberdashery. That this is where my painting came from. Okay, you guys have the best weekend. You enjoy every day. Thank you.
John Matthias. He exhibits some of his artwork at the Mermaid Haberdashery, run by the most amazing woman of grace and style that you absolutely must meet. She just happens to be his wife. But let me give you a little bit of my backstory. My family has been making memories at Ocean Grove for a very long time. There's actually a wall in my house filled with Ocean Grove memorabilia and photos and a painting. An original John Matthias that Jake and Jen gave me for Christmas last year. Yeah, I think this is where I got the sticker last time. Jen, Jen, have you seen the Tyrannosaurus Rex? We're on Main Street right now, shopping. The Mermaid Haberdashery is on Pittman. I can't tell you the names of all the shops we went in, but I can tell you that all the prices were reasonable, even on handmade things and beautiful vintage items. You have to come and shop Ocean Grove yourself. It is a great experience. I highly recommend it.
and you can hunt for your own perfect tiny silver spoon or salt shaker. How about you, David? Are you ready for a heated game of Monopoly? We're at Bath Avenue House right now. We've eaten many breakfasts at that big table. And over here is a guest book from 1889. Guest register. Jake and Jen are staying here. They're up in their room right now getting the Monopoly game. David and Abby were able to score a room at Ocean Park Inn, which is back to back with Bath Avenue House. guest book. Well, whether you do it when you come or when, when you leave, you just got to make sure you do it. Abby and David are going to make dinner for me. This is very nice. Buns at David. It's a mess, so you probably Ooh, That's a great photo. Very nice. They've already been in here. Air conditioning feels good. Lots, two windows in two different directions gives you lots of sunlight. Please make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button. Next episode, we explore Asbury Park and Jake and Jen go parasailing. Till then, bye for now.